Two little boys were at a wedding when one leaned over the other and asked, how many wives can a man have? The boy replied, 16. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. You're welcome. So right now we're on our way to go pick up a burn barrel, or a barrel, a 55 gallon barrel, and we're gonna cut it and turn it into a maple syrup evaporator. As most of you know, we had a really cool maple syrup set up at our last place, but they wanted the evaporator when they purchased the house included, so we had to leave it there. So we're gonna make a new one. We have all the other supplies. We have all the taps and the buckets and everything like that, which is super good. But we're gonna, yeah, get this barrel and then cut it and turn it into evaporator, and it's gonna be super cool. We're excited. All right, so we got the barrel. We got a cool kit coming where we're gonna cut it for the pans. There's gonna be a door out the front here. And well, we'll show you all that here soon when I get it. It's on the way, so can't wait. It's gonna give us a whole new thing to boil, so that's awesome. Okay, thanks to Blue Eddie for sponsoring this video. I got something really cool to show you. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna be powering the new off-grid cabin. This thing's got so much power, we're gonna be able to power our cabin with it, and at the same time, Run our power tools. Okay, so this is the Blue Eddy AC 200 Max, 2048 watt hours. We shared the 200P before, awesome unit, but this is the next step from that. This thing's freaking expandable. So you can add more batteries to it. There's a couple different battery packs they have with it. They have a B230 or a B300. And with the, the B300s, you can expand this here up to 8,192 watt hours of capacity. And that's more power than we had in our last place. We could have ran all of our lights, our well pump, our we had a solar fridge with 56 watts, so that's like a joke for this something like this. But you can add a pack, or you can add two, or you can add the other ones, but you can get up to 8,192 watt hours with the additional pack on it. So that's crazy. Also, you can it can charge up to 900 watts solar power at a time. We had 600 watts worth at our place, and then we were just charging a couple of six volt batteries in series. This thing here is already going to outperform that compared to what we had. So some of the features on the rig, you can charge your phone up here. Again, that thing that's super cool for RV. Bunch of these plugs, right? Your normal outlets. If you want to turn it on, use uh, you can use you know like the DC there. AC there tells you everything that's going on on there. That's pretty cool. It can charge with the car, charge with solar, charge on an AC plug, whatever. It charges lots of different ways. So that's sweet. It's pretty versatile. I love it. There's got right. It's got these connectors, 12 volt. Look at all the different connectors in this thing. Oh, pressing buttons. USB. Look, that one there, that's like for iPhones and stuff, that's sweet. So all kinds of ways to power with it. Then all the outlets down here, where you can charge it all those ways I was talking about. So super cool unit, it's you know very much like the 200P, which we reviewed on here. We've ran a whole pile of things off that 200P, and this thing here is the next step above that. So you can charge all that. But then with being able to add the additional uh, units to that, make it stackable, and then just to be run the power to it, right out of the box would be good to go. That's crazy. So that's gonna be super cool, like obviously for our cabin. I mean, it's perfect. So we're pretty excited about that thing. Like I'm really excited about that thing. I can't wait to get it hooked up in there. Obviously we gotta get the cabin finished up, but we'll be able to put that in there right away and uh, have lots of power and any more power we need. It's expandable, so it's sweet, it's perfect. And we can move it around, it's portable, so all that stuff's pretty cool. So. You know, if you're interested in something like that, there's links below. There's sales going on. We have codes. You can take that code, get discounts, check the code, take it, use it uh, if you're interested. So, again, camping, hunting, RVing, anywhere's on the road that you can think that power and expandable power at that, which is super cool. RVing, I can see it being crazy because, I mean, that 30 amp switch, that's pretty sweet. And to be able to expand it and all that, that's awesome. So, thanks to Blue Eddie for sponsoring this video. This thing's super cool, and we're pretty excited about it. So is the cat. Well, the metal's arriving today, and we just got to the land, and it's been snowing again, of course. So there's a ton of snow, and we need to do some plowing. 
so that the truck can hopefully get in here. I don't even know if they're going to get in. I asked them to back in, but honestly, I'm not sure if they're going to feel comfortable doing that. And if not, they're just going to have to leave it at the front of the property, like right near the road. And we're just going to have to haul the metal in however we can on the tractor. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I sure hope we have a chance to get the, I sure hope we get a chance to get the snow cleaned up before they get here and they feel confident enough backing in because <laughs> I do not want to have to find a way to haul that all the way from the front down here. It's probably going to be heavy, but at least it's here. And unfortunately there's snow on the trusses again so really hoping that that melts sometime soon because obviously we cannot be putting metal on with snow and we need to finish the strapping but there's snow on the trusses so we need to get the snow off the trusses to finish the strapping gotta love these canadian winners look at this stuff is it ever gonna end Winter is so long. Imagine putting metal on the snow. <laughs> Danger. Look at our deck. That was fully cleared off last time we were here. There was no snow. Now there is. We had the table cleared off. All the trusses. Well, dang. Oh. Kind of deep. And if you remember in here, we cleaned out some snow, cut out the plate, and then cleaned all this. There was no snow in this area here. <laughs> that didn't last long. There's our couple of boards we have left. Looks good, eh? <laughs> The positive, though, I can say, is it's really pretty. So because it is snowing today, and there's a bunch of wet, like wet, heavy snow on the trusses, we may not get anything done other than plowing, but we're also dropping off the rest of the 2 by 4 by 10s here, 10 foot 2 by 4s for the strapping. So we grab 14 more, and this should finish up all the strapping. We also have the burn barrel we picked up that we're gonna cut and turn into a maple syrup boiler. So that's super fun. And we prefer to bring the Jeep when we come to work here. Obviously it's a lot cheaper on gas. So we had to bring the truck today to deliver all this stuff. But when we come back to put all the, the wood on and everything, at least we can bring the Jeep then. So yeah, I guess we'll go see how Jeremy's making out plowing. <laughs> I think it's decent enough the truck could get in here. They might be scared, but they'll get in. Here we didn't even bother plowing. It's just, if you drive over it enough, it'll pack it down and make it good to drive on anyway. That's what he's doing now. He's just driving up and down the ruts to pack it all down. And it actually makes it easier because then you're not scraping up the ice to the ice underneath making it slippery. This just packs it down and makes a nice drive. Up front there where he plowed, it's actually quite slippery. See what happens when you plow? See, that's all ice. It's all ice under the snow. And because our driveway is a pretty big hill, it's just way easier to pack it down or way better to pack it down than to fully plow it down to the ice and then have to get up that with the truck or the truck that's coming to deliver. Legitimately really looking forward to summer. Yeah.
It feels like this winter's so long. Got our wood stacked and our barrel ready. We're just waiting on parts so we can make it into a boiler. So we had to put all the metal on the back of the truck and bring it in. The guy just could not get in here with his truck. So now Jeremy's backing it up so we can get it out of the truck and stored. It's so icy under here. Under all the snow, like the driveway is pure ice. like a sheet of ice under there, honestly. <laughs> we'll just set this off to the side. For a minute. Maybe we can get all of it. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Slippery. Yeah. The slippery is going to keep it from happening. <laughs> More of now. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know. Holy, we're not even there. It was You're awkward. Like, it felt like you were going down. You, you were going down. I wasn't. <laughs> like back. I'm like, what the frick is happening? You were going down. It's like... <laughs> ah! <laughs> Am I all right? <laughs> Your head's... <laughs> and every time I go to push off, I feel like it may tweak my groin. There's the sun. So as you've seen behind me, we got all of our metal. We had to drive it in because they couldn't get their truck in here. It's like a sheet of ice underneath this driveway. So they forgot to send the underlay and the drip edge, so we can't put any of it up. So we're going to have to just store it right here behind me for now. Um, and then we're probably going to have to go pick that up ourselves. And then we'll be able to start on the metal. So looking forward to getting that started. We're going to need a nice day for that, obviously. A day like today where it's wet is not going to work. So when we finally get a sunny day, we'll be able to start on that. 